What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear herb lore in old school RuneScape? Do you think of questing far and wide to obtain rare and powerful herbs to finally take down your boss? Or do you think of standing at the GE for hours, mixing? When you said the latter, you thought correctly. Otherwise, you're probably an Iron Man. One of the original founders of RuneScape listed the herb lore skill as his favorite, but was sad to see how it turned out. So, where did it go wrong? The biggest problem is that the skill was designed for a different time and game. When the skill came out, there were fewer players and trading was much less common, particularly for a skill like herb lore where without farming it's difficult to amass large quantities of specific herbs. You would have to stick and like farm one single mob over and over and over, or you had to go and search out like other players who could only sell you very small sets at any single time. It made it difficult to get all the potions you wanted. You couldn't just necessarily go out and just be like, oh, I just want 10,000 prayer potions. You had to actually make it because that'd be much faster than, say, finding 10,000 people that'll sell you one prayer potion each. Now, I can respect this because I think Slayer fills a similar role today where both skills were designed to drive players to areas of the game where they would not necessarily go otherwise. You look at like Slayer, and honestly, people I'm sure would just be like, oh, I just want to kill Skeletal Wyverns all day. But the Slayer skill is like, oh, well, unless you've grinded out a lot, well, go kill your Black Demons or something. Something that's like not as good, but would probably just get entirely ignored if it wasn't for the Slayer skill. So it's kind of sad to see where Herb Lore, something that was supposed to reward like questing, going around, and managing the whole like world of RuneScape, become just somewhere you stand at the GE and buy 10,000 and mix for five hours. On the notion of the GE, I don't think it was the only po ingredient in the potion of herb lore killing. It definitely made it a lot easier to get large amounts of ingredients and just stand there making potions until you have the XP you needed. But I think what really kind of killed it was that herb lore suffers from the distribution of its XP. In that way is you only get relevant XP from when you finish a potion. And it doesn't have to be the same person who started it. So cleaning herbs is very minimal XP, but you can make a little bit of money. And if you use the first potion ingredient on the vial, you don't get any XP at all. So if you're a time-conscious player looking for really good XP rates, which it's RuneScape, that's pretty common, then you just buy the nearly finished potion, plop the last ingredient in, and boom, great XP rates. Now, from a design perspective, this isn't that great. Players are ignoring large amounts of the skill just because they don't give any XP or not enough to worry about. I think that's a very critical design flaw to it is where if it was more distributed, where you got, say, equal XP from each different part, proportional, of course, because like herb cleaning is pretty fast, then it would be more important for players to, say, make the entire potion themselves rather than just, oh, I'll just buy all the unfinished potions and plop the extra ingredients in them. I mean, think about if you had a monster and this monster only gave XP to whoever the last person to hit it was. That would be chaotic. So much flaming, I'm sure. Although I would say it would be kind of cool as a moneymaker if players would like go off to random areas in the game, find a spot with like 10 enemies, get them all down to 1 HP, and then sell that information to players looking for high XP rates. That's pretty funny in my mind. So Herblore today has become a hollow shell of what I think it was designed to be. And this is mainly due to the game moving in a new direction and just becoming what we think of RuneScape today. Now, a critical problem exists with Herblore, though, is that potions are so essential to high-level content that touching the skill becomes impossible. If you were to devalue or inflate something like a prayer potion, the entire community would definitely feel that effect because they're so crucial to high-end play. It's weird because it's stuck in a spot where it doesn't quite fit in the game, but you also can't touch it with a 10-foot pole. So, moving forward, how could we see some changes to Herb Lore that don't ruin it? In my mind, I'd like to see a minigame similar to the Teeth Farming in Zaya. The Teeth Farming minigame is for farming, and it acts as a way where, as opposed to farming's very slow but large XP amounts with very little clicking, the minigame gives good rewards, but is very click-intensive, gives good XP, and is completely the opposite. You're still better off doing any other method, especially after you once you have the rewards, but the option is there if you want to do it. So I like that. I'm a huge fan of that minigame. Now, 
So I, taking that idea, I would love to see a new minigame in Zaya, or say at the Remington Chemist, where it's something like Blast Furnace, except with multiple ingredients, where several players would work, I'm sure, some kind of distilleries so that you could build either maybe the same potions as in the main game, but with more time or more expensive, but a lot more reliably, or maybe custom effects like, say, oh, you can combine a prayer potion and a combat potion, where it's not quite as good as either, but it's convenient, but wouldn't actually devalue the main ones in the main game. Now, I personally like this idea, but let me know what you think. As a kid, I loved exploring RS and finding new locations and enemies and everything that came with that, so I'm really sad to see a skill like Herblore end up the way it is. But I really want to know what you guys think. Do you think Herblore could be reworked? Does it not matter at all? Or do you think there's a simple update the devs could do that could really breathe some new life into it and change it all around? Let me know.